right, welcome to RealAlertGuitar.com, and here's Jeff's tip of the week. We're going to be talking about whammy bar tricks. Now on my particular guitar, I have a Floyd Rose style bridge, so that's going to allow me to do some more things. For instance, I can pull on the strings in this direction, as opposed to like on strats, and most a lot of other guitars, you can only dive. Um, also, I can dive to a pretty low tension to the point where my string is actually flopping on the guitar. So that would be like, and that's, I don't know, I guess it's just excessive, but sometimes it's fun. So anyway, uh, the first couple of tricks I'm going to do are going to deal with diving. What, one thing that's kind of cool is to come into a note and be, right before you pluck it, you depress the bar, pluck the note, and pop right into the note that you're intending to play. Okay, sometimes I'll do this by hammering instead of actually plucking the string. Okay, another cool one is to dive the bar as you're sliding up from one note to another. And then popping the bar up when you arrive at where you want it to be. So I'm going to go from the second fret on the third string to the ninth fret. Okay, kind of sounds like a car starting. Okay, so that's two cool diving ones. Uh, another cool diving one is when you hit uh, a pinch harmonic and then dive the bar down slowly. So for instance, I might get... That was a really common move uh, a couple of years ago, uh, but I hear it coming back strong these days. Okay, and then some tricks pulling the bar up. <clears throat> One thing, if you're playing kind of like a, a foreign sounding scale, you can kind of tap the bar in the backwards position. And it creates more of a, a dramatic sound for the style. Okay, so that's a cool one. Another cool one for pulling the bar up is to hit a natural harmonic. So for instance, I'll hit one at the fourth fret and pull the bar back as you go and a more dramatic way to do this is to dive the bar first hit the string dive the bar as low as you can get it touch the harmonic with your left hand and then pull the bar back so I'll hit the string dive it down touch the harmonic with my finger and bring it back up. And if you kind of have to do it all quick, otherwise you lose the vibration of the string. Okay? And that was one made popular by uh, Dimebag Daryl from Pantera. He did that a lot. And he was great at it. Um, another fun one is if you want to really make a large position shift, is to just kind of hit an open string, like in the case of this, maybe I'll come from the eighth position down to the first position and then back up to the eighth position. All right, it's just a really dramatic effect. Um, just a couple more. It's fun to vibrato notes so like you might play a simple chord and just shake the bar a little bit and so on and so forth and last but not least I'm going to show you the historic elephant call this one <clears throat> requires you to hit two harmonics at the same time on the third string seventh fret and the seventh or seventh fret of the second string so third string seventh and second string seventh it'll sound like this so 
This one is going to be a large crossing thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my harmonics. My guitar is turned down. Hit my harmonics. Turn the volume up and pull back on the bar at the same time. All right, there's a little elephant call. All right. So anyway, there's a lot of fun things that can be done with your whammy bar if you have one. Um, and if not, that's fine too because a lot of great players didn't use them. Anyway, have a good time exploring the possibilities and I will see you later.